Back in April, right here on Monument Circle, in the middle of the night, local athletes competed on the American Ninja Warrior obstacle course. Monday night on Channel 13, we find out how far they advanced. It's a competition that's had one winner in 10 years. That's how hard it is. It's the world's hardest obstacle course. Bill Westrick knows from experience. He's one of several athletes from Train Yard 317 that competed on the Indianapolis course. Being able to compete in my hometown was more special than I realized because all my friends were there, all my family was there. I had people cheering from me from each side of the course. Bill is 50 years old. Now we can get some work done. The self-proclaimed world's greatest plumber. He works as a commercial plumbing designer and project manager for Dean. These are my bathtubs. They're headed out to a hotel downtown. Fitness is his other project. When I was 30 years old, I walked by the mirror with my shirt off, and I saw a gut sticking out. It's like, where'd that come from? That ain't, that ain't going to happen next year. So that day, I joined the gym. Monday night's episode shares a personal story Bill can't reveal until then. We've all got obstacles in life that we face. Some are huge. And, and we've all got obstacles on the Ninja Warrior course that we face. Some are huge. Some take us down. But you hit the water, you get back out, and you give it another shot the next year. This is Bill's third shot at the course. He also auditioned in St. Louis four years ago and Kansas City three years ago. My wife asks me all the time, why do you want to keep doing Ninja Warrior? I got to beat the obstacles. I want to hit that buzzer. I want to go to the next round. <laughs> Bill is sworn to secrecy about how many steps he advanced on the American Ninja Warrior course here on Monument Circle. But he performed well enough to be featured Monday night here on Channel 13. I'm Rich Nye, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.